This video is going to take a look at the trading week ahead, and we'll also catch up with what's been going on with the Dow Jones. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212, taking a look at a few of the highlights of the economic releases for the week commencing the 11th of March. Now we had a surprisingly weak non-farm payrolls report out on Friday. That created some concern that the US economy may be slowing. What we've got this week are some more key US economic indicators that could help to build a bigger picture about how the US economy has been faring. The first of these that we're going to look at is out on Tuesday. It's inflation data for the US. So this is the US CPI report for February, and it's out at 12.30 p.m. UK time. That's an hour earlier than we would normally expect this report at UK time, and that's because the clocks went forward an hour in the US at the weekend. Market expectations are for an increase of 0.2% month over month at the headline level. That compares with no change in the month prior. However, however, if we look at the core level, that excludes food and energy prices, inflationary pressures are expected to be very similar for uh, February as they were for January. Expectations pointing to a 0.2% increase month over month, and that was the same change that we did see in the month prior. Moving on to Wednesday, we've got industrial production data for the Eurozone. This is out at 10 a.m. UK time, and it is for January. Now, December's industrial production report showed a big decline for the Eurozone. We saw a drop of 0.9% month over month, and we're expecting a big bounce back for January, expectations pointing to an increase of 1%. On Thursday, we've got new home sales data for the US. This is out at 2 p.m. UK time, and it is for January. Um, expectations are for an annualized pace of 620,000 units, which is very similar to the rate we saw back in December, where it was 621,000. Finally, on Friday, we've got industrial production data for the US. This is for February, and it is out at 1.15 p.m. UK time. Industrial production was pretty weak in January, where we saw a decline of 0.6%, but we're expecting uh, quite a strong rebound here, expectations pointing to an increase of 0.4% in overall industrial production, and an even bigger bounce back for the manufacturing component. That declined 0.9% in January, and market expectations are for an increase of 0.4% there. Let's now take a look at the charts of the Dow Jones and see what's going on there. So very quickly, let's go over the long-term picture using a weekly chart of the Dow here. I'm zoomed out one notch. We can see that the Dow has had years and years of gains on this chart. The period of ascent goes all the way back to 2010. We can see how directional the market has been. We've got a bit of a little bit of vol there in mid 2015, early 2016, a bit of a pause in the upward movement. But generally speaking, it's been one big bull run all the way on this chart, uh, all the way up to early 2018. If we zoom in, we can see how the character of the market changed at that point. Things have been pretty choppy ever since. And the market was directional before. Since then, we can't really say that the market has been directional. We got this big pullback in late December. We can see from this chart that the price fell all the way back to its lowest since the middle of 2017. Let's now switch to the daily charts. Here we can see um, this low from late December and how we've had a really big bounce since then. Over the last few weeks, things have been easing off in general. Just a tiny sign of things maybe picking up again there with the last few candles. Now, if we look at how the market has been behaving since uh, October, there is, excluding this extreme dip and rebound that we got from mid-December through to early uh, first half of January, um, something of a range-bound look to how the market has been behaving. At the upper end of that range, you'll see that I have added on a line across the charts at around about 26,250, and that pretty much caps the upper end of price all the way back to October. On the lower end, I put on a line at around about 24,250, and really it's between this and about 24,000. Um, in between that range that we've seen uh, evidence of repeated supports, not just with these bounces here and here, but also support here in June and July of 2018. We can see that's all 
pretty much above 24,000. If we just zoom out, we can see we got bounces back here in uh, March 2018 and in May 2018. And now let's switch to the four hour chart. So as we said, things have generally been climbing since Christmas, just over the last few weeks, easing off, and then a few, uh, few pushes higher in, in recent trading day. So let's see what the RSI has to say about this. I'm just going to add on the relative strength index here at the bottom of the screen. And we can see just inquiring into what it has to say about this period of, of easing off here. We can see that the RSI moved down. It didn't go into oversold here, but it did dip into oversold last week and then moved back out uh, pretty quickly. And it's been climbing ever since, matching really the movement of price. Um, and so we can see that the RSI is not yet into overbought territory. So these green bars, the RSI seems to be suggesting, at least in this short term time frame, that there may still be some momentum in this upward push here. So that was a look at the charts of the Dow using the web app. Don't forget though, you can download for free native mobile apps for iOS and Android. And you'll find links to those in the video description below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button and give us a like. And why not share your thoughts with us in the comments section? We do read each one. Now, as well as doing analysis of the Dow Jones, we also do videos with analysis of other popular markets, including Euro dollar, gold and crude oil. And we also do educational videos about trading in general. If you click on the subscribe button and then select the alarm bell icon, you'll get a notification for every new video. And we add fresh content weekly. Well, that's all for now from me, Peter Martin and Trading212. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.